So what are the types of electronic data that may be subject to discovery during litigation? Essentially, there are two main types, custodial data, which is data that is within the possession, custody, or control of an individual or entity, and non-custodial data, which includes data stored on various data sources utilized by departments or business units of a producing party, but not necessarily maintained by a particular custodian. So let's look at some types of custodial data. Email data, whether they be sent emails, received emails, archived emails, emails that have been sorted into folders. Email data is quintessentially custodial data. If you're the owner of an email account, you maintain possession, custody, and control of those emails that are sent and received through that email account. Other types of custodial data include documents used in a normal office setting, such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoints, uh, PDFs, uh, typical, typical office type documents, photographs or images, text messages, and any other type of data that is generated and maintained by a particular custodian, regardless of where that data uh, may be located. Non-custodial data, includes data stored on network locations, certain data management systems that may be in use with accounting, HR, or sales, for example. Multiple individuals generally have input into these types of non-custodial data sources, so they can't really be ascribed to a single custodian. Understanding these types of data will help you know the types of questions to ask your client's data representative so you can locate the relevant data to preserve it for the litigation. Thank you.